Today is the official launch of Miss Muslima Ghana 2024. My name is Her Ladyship and we are right here at Capitol Restaurant and I am super excited. I have seen the ladies and trust me, they are looking like angels. Everybody is looking beautiful. Their makeup from head to toe, everything is on point. Now we have gone through our audition phase and selected our final eight contestants for this year Miss Muslima Ghana. Now for today's launch, we are having two very important personalities and guests joining us. They are going to be our facilitators, our role models, our moderators and whatever you can call them. They will be there and that is Mrs. Aisha Yakubu. She is a journalist. We are also going to have Mrs. Habiba Sinari. You have seen her before in our audition video. These two important personalities are going to take us through the launch with the ladies and let's have a chit chat, a talk before we get into Sasha and Derem cutting our cake and of course enjoying some champagne. So do stay tuned, don't move an inch and if you are not following us across all social media platforms, please do that. Follow us across all social media platforms at Miss Muslima Ghana. Also check us out on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name remains her ladyship. Thank you so much to Capital for the opportunity to use the space and to everybody, to all the camera guys and everybody. Thank you so much. Do stay tuned and see how beautiful this launch is going to turn out. Okay, so I'm just going to interact with our facilitators for today real quick and let's see. Hello, Mrs. Aisha. Hi. Please, how are you? I'm well, thank you. I feel like camera do not do enough justice to you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, in person you are looking even prettier. Thank you very much. I admire you a lot and I want to quickly find out that for today's program, yeah. um, what do you have in store for the ladies? What do you want to tell them? I think we're just here as great examples for the ladies. Yeah. Uh, we are here for them to emulate us mm -hmm. the best way they can. Mm -hmm. And then to carry on the little knowledge that we have mm -hmm. so that they can uh, take it to the stage and then through their life's journey. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they can learn a, a thing or two. Okay. So talking about nervousness, because even as I am standing now, mm -hmm. um, I can feel a little bit of nerves in me. Right. When you are constantly in front of a camera, like ev almost every single day, right. how do you how do you manage it? How do you go through it? I think you just it just takes some getting used to. Okay. Um, the nerves are always there. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't go away, but you don't let it overtake you. Okay. That's that's the best part. You just get used to it because it's something you do, like you said, mm -hmm. almost every day of the week. Okay. So there are nerves when you start, but eventually it just goes away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, 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 I am particularly excited about today's segment because I feel like MMG has carefully selected the best role models or examples to take our ladies through. So that brings me to Mrs. Habiba Sinari. Um, you are a versatile. Maybe ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe I'll come there, but it's true. I should have started That's with that. Please, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. I do not know if people know that you are this exciting to be with. Am I? No, but it's like we don't see so much of that. You should start a show or something. Should I? I'm telling you. So we have a producer, we have a cameraman, then let's find a venue and then start a show. You are very, very exciting. And like I was saying earlier, you are a versatile, that is how I see you. I see you to be a very versatile personality. You are able to do one too many things at the same time. And you are able to put yourself in different roles and positions. So today, what is the one advice you're going to give to the ladies that they are venturing into this new thing? For a lot of Muslim girls, this is quite new. This is like something new they are venturing into. They want to try their hands on. So what is your one advice for them that would help them throughout this period and even afterwards? So, um, this is a new adventure, should I say. Um, you're making new family members. <laughs> you know, they're, they're doing new things, meeting new people. It's not just about the crown. We're doing all these things, and so I just want them to 
pick up the best from every stage. Allow yourself to live and just get the best out of it. Okay. Yeah, it's very important that you do not just concentrate on the crown, but also understand that you are living mm -hmm. right. So as you're moving through the process, you're taking whatever you have to take, fix it inside of you and make yourself a better person. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So I wish them all the best. Okay, so she wish all our ladies all the best and we also we wish all the ladies all the best. Bring your A game on and let's have a very, very interesting yet competitive program. Thank you so much. So let's allow our facilitators for today to get into the rest of the program. So like I was saying before, my name is Aisha Yakubu. I work with TV3. I'm a journalist. I'm a wife and a mother. That's just the basics of it. So we're going to introduce ourselves. So I get to know you. Maybe you already know each other, but I get to know you. So I'll start with you. I'm Mary Miyakubu. I'm, I'm a student. I'm a student. I'm still studying biological sciences. Okay. Biological sciences. What is biological sciences? Okay. It's a general, it's a general course. Within the biological sciences, there are specifications like nutrition, biochem, food science. We have marine. So when you're in level 200, you choose the one you want to specify. What, and what do you want to do? I want to do nutrition. We'll, we'll get to the next person. Huh? My name is Mrs. Asma and I'm studying uh, travel and tourism in school and I work for a travel agency. Which school? Global Institute of Ability. Okay. And you? I'm Salam Sumbawa. I'm a student at the University of Ghana, a level 300 student. And I'm passionate about that as well. What are you studying? Geography and archaeology. But you're a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason you're studying geography and archaeology? No, I have, I have passion for fashion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what you're studying in school? Yeah, it doesn't mm -hmm. fashion. But why did you choose that uh, specific course? I, I'm just curious. I haven't met anybody studying geography and archaeology before. Myself, I didn't know much about archaeology. Mm. I did geography in SHS, but right. I didn't know much about archaeology. Mm. And when I came, I, I had geography, history, and archaeology, so I dropped history. So Hello, please. My name is Isabel Hamdia. Um, students at UPSC, but I'm graduating this year, Shara. Studying Bachelor of Science and Accounting by now. There were lots of girls that were willing to also learn and they've used this opportunity to better themselves and so I'm hoping the same will be for you as well. Uh, I'm sure we all have our dreams, our aspirations and this is like a stepping stone. It will give you like um, the platform you are looking for, you know, and first of all, whatever, you're, whatever it is you are doing, you are representing the Muslim community, that is the, the first thing you should think about. People, I'm sure you're going to meet a lot of people uh, doing this project. So it's important to have that speak under your voice. Like You should let them hear you, you should have the confidence, you should let them know that I'm here, Asma is here or Mariam is here when you walk inside the room. Because based on what you are saying, do you understand? So we, we've basically handled confidence, which is the first thing you should know as queens anyway. And um, being a Muslim shouldn't limit you. And also you are not special. You, I, I want us to, 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 get, to get that straight. But you see, the space, if you would agree with me in Ghana, is filled with Christians. You are the one going there. So if you have your hijab on, you have to stand out when you also speak. Do you understand mm -hmm. the intellect, how you handle people? Because first of all, we as Muslims are known as round people. The little things you do, hey, don't go get on the moon, you know? Uh -huh. So if we are not in a space where we are filled with Muslims, 
when we are together like this, we understand each other. When it's time to pray, we know it's time to pray. But people will give you respect based on how you are carrying yourself and your body language, your eye contact. So if I'm speaking with you or I'm trying to remember one of your names and then I call you hair, that's disrespectful. If power passes by and then I go like this, the eye contact is disrespectful. You might not see it as such, but it's a general, I think you know that. Is that not yes. a general? Yes. Exactly, it applies everywhere here, at least here in Ghana, you know. And someone will just take, sometimes your mind is not even there. And then you look at some, someone, you rub them the wrong way, and then that's it. They carry it along wherever they go. Imagine going for a sponsorship. Maybe you follow her out to one of these uh, big places, and then um, you go and sit down, and then you look at the CEO the wrong way, and then you stuck you with her. Just because maybe you were thinking so far away, you were thinking about something, and then you looked at them the wrong way, and they didn't agree with you. Just you and your boss. You are going with your wow. You know, so when you are you are doing something specific as this one, you understand? You're you're uh, handling um, something like this. I've never been a beauty queen. I've never tried. I'm afraid I'll lose, <laughs> so I won't try. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um, the 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 first thought of wanting to be in the competition alone is not easy. Because you have to put yourself together, you are going to encounter other ladies that are probably more taller, you know, more slimmer, and so all of that plays in your thoughts. But once you are here, I feel like you've fought the fight to be here. So, I mean, you should give yourself a round of applause. Thank you. Great. So, studying what appearance is important to you and for you, and it will help you. Do not get someone to tell you how you should appear. Because once you are, you're given in that room, automatically you don't own yourself. You are not even appearing for yourself. You are appearing for whoever you are appearing for. I have to be non Muslim, right? But she's appearing for a brand. She's appearing because she needs, she's appearing because she needs people to associate her with something. So she's coming in as herself, but for the brand. She's not coming looking the opposite of what she's doing. I, I don't know if you understand what I mean. I'm not saying that, let's say you are entering a church, right? And then you feel that everybody is going to cover everything. Everybody's not going to cover their hair, so, uh, their, their hair, so you to do. I'm not saying that. So. All I'm trying to say is, obviously if you're entering a church, you dress modestly, right? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing it? Because you need your entering um, a house of God. Right? So you want, you feel that once I enter this, you know what? I'm in a sacred place, I'm in a good place, and at the same time, so I'm being a Muslim. So even if you wear your table, nobody's going to beat you because you're doing the right thing. Right? But let's say you're going for, let's say you're going for a party. You want to go and dress like a good eye in a party. You wear your mini skirt and shower with you know, you, want to get, you don't want to do that because you still want to enjoy the party, but at the same time, you want to go as you. So, of course, you do your, you know what I mean, your shimmerness and all those things, but you are not exposing, you are not, you know, your turban. Maybe this time your turban will not be sitting like my own. My own, yeah, I know it's funny, but it will be sitting like my own, you know. Maybe you do it like the way I shall have done your own, and then you tie, tie it some way just to fall in place, right? But you are still you, and you are still appearing as your identity. Like that identity that you carry, you are still appearing as that. You are appearing as that. I want to ask you a question. Whenever you go on your social media, right? I mean, the reason why I like using social media is because now the world is online, everything we do is online. So if you're looking for someone, if your friend tells you that her boyfriend is cheating, you will say, What's the social media? <laughs> <laughs> I shall. <laughs> if, me, if I tell you, remember when we used to our people? You will say, one on one, you will say, what's your friend? 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 Because you want to see her appearance. You want to see what she stands for. 
You want to see who she is. So once you see her, you look. Shah, 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 shah. And you look at her. Then your will come because you know that this one we can conquer. But if you go and tell me my page, she said, Go and I just say, Can we? You ask your friend, Can we? You're taking her husband away. You know, it's the appearance that will shake you. Even if I do not like good things, I don't believe in it. You don't have money, you don't dress well. Though. I don't believe in that, that nonsense. Because we are people who have money, they don't dress well. Yeah. Right? And we are people who wear bigger brands, it doesn't fit them. Yeah. We are people who do normal things. They don't do the big kakra, like eyelash kakra. Eyebrows, kakra, <laughs> flesh, kakra. <laughs> you know those kakra. When you see a kakra, you just are kidding. It's the appearance. It's you. You want to come up as somebody that, even if someone closes their eyes, this is Aisha. I'm just trying to see. It's it's your power. It's your power. And then, fine. We are Muslims. We are supposed to dress a certain way. We shouldn't forget that we have this, um, that there's a word for it. Um, you know, we are morally inclined. We, we have culture, we have tradition, we have, you understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know how to appear when you're going for a Damba festival. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to mention Damba <laughs> in here, but I'm using Damba because that's the only thing that came in my mind. <laughs> you know, you're going for a Toto, you, you want to dress like them, but you still want to appear the way you are appearing. Like how you still want to appear, you want to use your identity and feel in it and come as you, but you dress like the guns, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, children are guns. Oh, you understood me. <laughs> we got the point. We got the point. The point is the point, <laughs> and not what I'm saying. And that is why we can never understand how Indians. Have sold their culture to an extent that it's fashion for other people. It's their appearance. I just want this appearance for what? Appearance for a whole nation. You, you, you that you're in Ghana, you want to come and dress like an Indian because you think it's fashion. On your wedding day, you go wear that thing, yeah. some things, be, and then you are. Then the government are waiting for you to wear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you too, what are you selling? Mm-hmm. What are you selling? Because obviously me, if, if my appearance is not contagious, I don't like it. I want to be able to leave somewhere and someone will say that, ah, you see that, that bracelet or that ring she wore, ah, let me tell look, I want to, I want to, you know, you're just, you're just leaving some marks somewhere. You know you're doing, you're doing something for someone, right? <laughs> You're doing something for and for me. I just want us to always bring it down to who we are as Muslim women. It's not easy, but you must. I think one person that can also testify is Aisha, because in her space as well, it's not easy. You think it's easy to go and sit on TV and every time you're here? Actually, there was some time her tea and her scarf was more tea. <laughs> So someone will watch her just because the news, she's not hearing anything. She mm-hmm. cannot understand what she's saying, but they just know that there's one Muslim girl that's coming mm-hmm. to say the news that they don't watch. Mm-hmm. Your appearance has made an impact. So for me, I want to tell you anywhere, if you've not learned anything today, I want to, I want you to learn that anywhere you take yourself, let your appearance leave a mark. Let people not remember even what you said. Who you were, what you got to that place. Let them say, 
Salima. Her perfume and all. Mm. Use your money to buy baby rice and perfume. <laughs> it's part of the appearance. Aisha, <laughs> one line, one line, one line. I'm going to look. I'm going to program it. Let me just have to say it in Hausa. You don't understand Hausa. You are. You are in a Kenyan taxi. Let me say it in Hausa. Then this one. Let me say it in Hausa. She's very pretty. The dress was one tavern only cleavage. Only so the one I saw, I was like, hey, I'm gonna miss my life out. This is the Jagga Amatan. Yeah, it's funny, eh? But it hurts me. I want. I felt like taking her to my house and back me <laughs> because she's pretty. So can you imagine the number of people that are gossiping about her? Yeah. Can you imagine the number of people that will say things about her? Do you know that all the things she did there, nobody's going to remember it. Mm -hmm. And then what or more no. Mm -hmm. Her appearance went to a zero. Now the dress didn't make sense. The makeup didn't make sense. Her jewelry did not make sense. Whatever she came to do that did not make sense. Even me, I don't remember the things she did. All I remember was that thing. Maybe for that I don't remember because I've also seen four her dress more than ever. <coughs> right? But she's she's pretty. And you know, women, we don't like saying, uh, me, I like to say, if I see a girl that's nice, me, I like to say, but when I see a girl that's nice, oh, you're nice, I like your dress, I like your lips, I like, so that you say, ah, why am I doing this thing, it's not good, you know, it's LG. But me, I like to appreciate nature. If I see a bottle that is made by God and it's nice, I'll say it's nice till I leave the place. That's it. If I don't like it too, I will say it. It's important, because that's why I have mouth. God give me mouth for a reason. I have to cry. <laughs> So if a girl like this, if she did a lot at that event, I mean, I don't remember some. All I remember is I liked it and I disliked it because of one thing. Her appearance came to a zero. Her shoe, her shoe was nice. Her shoe was nice. And you know, now I get skinny beach was in some six inch. You see, hey. <laughs> You know those girls when they're walking like cats? <laughs> and when she was talking to me and she was gonna ask me, I couldn't move to her again. I couldn't. And I had to be like, oh, my makeup is gonna spoil your dress. You're alive! <laughs> I was suffering! And you know what even made, me, made it worse for me? When we were sitting, can we take a hmm. <laughs> Do you think I can forget this? I was traumatized. <laughs> I forget the thing. I can't. And she's somebody that I'll forever remember if I'm giving reference to appearance. Unfortunate. So can you imagine what the other people will be saying? Because when she can't say everybody turn to watch. When she's walking, everyone wants to see you. Because she's elegant, right? But she's gonna talk to you then. Mm. So I beg you, you have parents. It needs to leave a mark. Even if you didn't just your perfume should leave a mark. Mm. And it's all by force. If you're not prepared for something, you do not go. If you are prepared for something, it's also good because opportunity comes, you grab it. You know, preparation is opportunity. But at this point, don't force yourself to be prepared. Unless it's a, it's, it's a necessity. Sometimes we all know that where we are going, we are not ready. Why are we going? We are going to do what? I'm serious. Sometimes we put unnecessary pressure on ourselves and we do not appear well. Oh, I was in a hurry, oh, and um, <coughs> when I when I was like, every time my scarf well, I don't have to attack your own. Every time my scarf well, and then nobody forced you. You must appear well. If it takes pain, somebody tells you it is to come and do some small touch up, do it. She's okay. Oh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Me, this thing has happened to me before. Right? I want to cough. I'll cough. I don't know. I'm a human being, right? And I'll cough. Uh, right <laughs> I'll, I'll probably. It's part of appearance. <laughs> she has appeared nicely, and the coughing is coming. So you do bougie coughing. You do this. <laughs>
It's who you are. Why is that we are talking? They're all they're all talking about the hair saying that uh, she dresses with over dressing. Mm. Let's be honest. I dress more than that. Yeah. They themselves that they are talking. If they were there, they would also mm. talk like that. Anna, mm. you want her to appear as what? I don't know. <laughs> Ah, because if it's me, I'll do. <laughs> if it's Aisha, she will do. If it's Hawa, she will do. If it's you, you will do. You understand what I mean? Oh. I wanted to ask if, let's say, you are on stage. Do you feel like at times you are short on the words? Mm -hmm. How do you handle it? I can so let's learn it today. You short words, you short words. Because. <laughs> <laughs> I said, this one is please, 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 let's not like that again. You have to know what you are doing. No, but first of all, how are you shouting? That's what I'm saying. How are you shouting? How are you shouting? I really want to know. Is it the. Um, I forget. Is it. You are V Baba. So. That's <laughs> like, I want to know if you still feel nervous when you're on stage or it's something you. Oh, no. no. Nerves are always. I don't know about. Have you ever. When you're on sets, don't you feel oh, nervous God. sometimes? Every time. See, when I go to work right now, they are playing a sick tune of the news. I don't know if you know the news, the way it starts, the, the mm -hmm. song that comes, and I'm just passing by. My heart skips it. I'm just passing by. Because she feels like she's also come to talk. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Anytime the camera comes on, my heart skips a beat. There's no day that you're like, oh, I'm so confident. But once you roll, you roll. The nervousness will come. Yeah. We are human. But don't let it take over you. Then you will mess everything up. The nerves will be there. Your hands will be shaking. After today, if you are standing in front of, you know, a crowd and you're holding paper, a first a crowd that you've never spoken to before, you, you see that there are shivers. You know, the nervousness will come. You just have to learn how to bring it, tone it down a bit, so it's not seen to you that you are struggling. It's not easy, but, but don't, don't, don't go and do that thing and say you forget where the, that one is happening. Oh to. no, put something there fast, fast. Hey, don't stop yeah. that's, that That's actually, uh, um, 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 how do you call it? She was giving you how to call it in the apple. Mm -hmm. When it don't happens, stop. don't stop. Mm -hmm. Even if you forgot the whole line, mm -hmm. continue go, with the other one. Yes, just go. Hey, don't stop. One minute to the next let one. You learn is do not stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, do not stop. Don't do that. Talking about me. Don't if do you do um, one, two, three, move. Oh, don't do a um, for ten times and be looking at us to tell you. Mm -hmm. We don't know. You are telling us. We don't know. Yeah, so just. It's like you're on the road. Some, what, some, something you see someone in the road. You want to know the person. I say that I always put a person to the house. <laughs> Why are that? Would you continue? Yeah, you you, know, you have so just. Rest, you have to just, just try to move. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes someone will give you a very disrespectful comment, <laughs> and then you feel like placing the person in the middle. Yeah. So that one is it considered as uncouth or like something? Yeah, I'm going to like <laughs> insult the person as he has commented on your post, but then you want to like place them in their right position. Have you guys promised placing people where they are supposed to? I haven't learned to do that. It's not easy. I have learned no to, to delete and block. You not catch me doing that. Because if I do it, I'll insult your mother, your father, your grandfather. And your future generation. Okay, exactly. I don't know how to do it like she does. No, but I'll, stop. <laughs> I'll just delete it and then I'll block oh, it. I, I don't see why you are on my page if you feel that strongly about me yeah. you know you're always there trying to put negative comments you see my video that, <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that, yeah. That, so i just delete it and then i go i feel like i agree with the assertion that sometimes you need to put people in their places so that other people that are hoping to i, I call it cyber bullying because if you are in front of me you cannot do that that's just the behind truth. you aha uh -huh. so you see if you feel like you can, in a way that is respectful, absolutely, go ahead and do it. But if you are so pissed, calm down. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you are pissed, calm down first before you, you know, you reply. You were saying something. Yeah, people are having this narrative that mm -hmm. social media is different from like real life. Okay. So okay. they do all sort of things on social media, but then when they see you in real life, they'll be like, oh, it's just social media. 
it's, it's unfortunate. That's that's how we see it. Our, our, our people, mm -hmm. our Gen Zs, and then mm -hmm. our, our generation. <laughs> But that thing don't work for me. No, for <laughs> people, a lot of brands or a lot of mm -hmm. companies. Mm -hmm. Because now, when you are going to look for jobs, you are going to look at what you have posted on social, social media. media. Yeah. Some people. Some people are treated things that are affecting them. So yes, well. even from the US MS. I have a friend that got, I think, an opportunity in the US. I've they like went to their social joining. media and then saw that they had been writing really, really bad stuff, like inciting people, inciting violence. They took it all back from the person. It's, it's very, it's, it's really so. Normal. I feel like social media can be real life. You know? It's so not It is because I want you to look at my socials mm -hmm. and have an idea of who I am and who exactly. I'm going to be. Exactly. It like, shouldn't be different. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be any different. Yeah. I understand that we do fake things sometimes. Of course, I'm sad. I don't want to put it there. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you do not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Diff I'm not any different. Uh, even if it's like, yeah, it's like maybe because I can't sit on social media. And Talking about this, right? But if today a camera is, we're having a live session, don't see a bit of it. Oh. So, in talking, my heart just skipped the beat, right? And I remembered when uh, Miss Aisha Yakubu and uh, Mrs. Snari were talking about the fact that anytime you are in front of a camera, it doesn't matter who you are. You are definitely going to feel a bit nervous and you have to skip the beat. I also learned sometimes from someone that anytime you are in front of camera or in front of people and you're about to talk, if your heart doesn't skip the beat or if you don't feel a little bit of nervousness, then it means that you've lost your purpose in life. If you are a journalist and then you're about to talk and your heart doesn't give that small beat, then it feels like you've lost your purpose in life. Well, Today's section has been very, very exciting, very, very educative because um, our two most important personalities here had a lot to pour out, a lot of information to give to help us in our life journey, even way after Ms. Mosibumakana. And I want to believe that all the ladies here have learned a thing or two, right? Hey, I'm sure. Yeah. Now the right is not coming, right? Yeah. Okay, so yes, we've learned a thing or two and it's going to help us in our lives journey. So this is the official launching of Miss Muslim Magana MMG and we have some cake to cut. We also have the sashes to put on the ladies to tell you that finally we have selected our eight great contenders and contestants for this year's Miss Muslim Magana. So I'm just going to hand it right over to um, Mrs. Sanari and also to Miss um, Aisha Yaku. <laughs> I'm going to hand it over to them so we'll just quickly sash our lady and our ladies and we'll come, we'll cut our cake, we'll enjoy, we'll have fun and make some champagne bottles to pop here and there and then call it a wrap. So let me have it. See you. <laughs> so I think we're going to call the ladies one after the other to come. When you come, you just stand and put the sash on you and then we call the next person who can take the seat and the next person come. Congratulations around the world. We are so glad to have you. Congratulations. 
congratulations and let's give them a round of applause. Now to our next person. Which one does he want? <laughs> Okay, so congratulations and welcome. Let's give them a round of applause. Welcome to the family. Yeah, Don't mind them. She has done. 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 So we have all eight ladies being sashed now and we are going to move straight into putting our cake and then popping our champagne. So um, without much ado, I'm going to ask all the ladies to move on your feet. Come here, find space, get yourself in, get some breath. Hi. Okay, so we all help. If you can stretch your um, hand to touch it, fine. Yes, you touch it. Oh,